now! We've all been there when we are getting to our sixth and final selection in Wordle when we just can't guess the word. We don't want to tweet out that final word. And so you're probably thinking, is there a way that I could just know the answer? And it is. There is a flaw inside of Wordle where they store the answers to the puzzle um, on disk. Now, they're using a technique called local storage. Now, before I show you how this works, I want to make a couple of clarifications. First, Wordle is amazingly built. Like, as far as the UI, the tweet out, and everything is amazing. Um, the developer here has done a fantastic job, not to mention he's captured most of Twitter. Everyone's tweeting out their Wordle, Wordle success. He's also created something that millions and millions of people have used. So I do believe that what I'm going to show you, his use of local storage, is probably by design. There isn't a, a profit motive here. People aren't logging in. There's no authentication. So having that kind of complexity in the back end probably is like, hey, it's a free game. I really don't care. But it does bring us up to a discussion point is when should we use local storage and what its weaknesses are. But let's show you quickly how this works. So if you're playing Wordle and you walk onto the website, you can simply click in Chrome, More Tools, Developer Tools. And inside there, you can click a tab called Local Storage. And if you look real close and I click on the game state here, you can see the solution is stored right there. It's stored in the game state. So one of the weaknesses of local storage is if you want anything to be stored that needs to be secure, like a password or a key for an API, this is a really bad way to do it because anyone can read local storage because it's on the user's computer. Now, when you need a quick way to hold some game state or some kind of state of the application and it's not secure, local storage is fantastic. So if you want to cheat the game, go ahead. You can go look at application. You can go get the solution right out of there and you can guess it in one state. You also can delete this and delete this key. And um, if I refresh it here, it'll start over. And so now it doesn't know anything about the state and then you can try to guess again. But let's look at like how we would do something like this in JavaScript and real quick here demo. I'm gonna pull up VS Code here and I've got a, a JavaScript string. And you can see here I've created a simple JavaScript object and I called it Movie Links and it has like a name, maybe a name and a URL, a website URL. And I wanna set that into local storage. What I would do here is I would call the local storage that's built into JavaScript here dot set item and I give it a unique unique name. Now this name is case sensitive and people have to know what it's called. And then you'd basically turn it into JSON by calling JSON.stringify and you pass your object into this function and that will store that into local storage. Now if you need to get it, you could say get your movie links, you just call parse and local storage get item and it'll go get the item. Of course these have to be the same name and it'll get the item and parse that into a JavaScript object, bringing it back so that you can use that inside of JavaScript. So that's a quick way that we could store this in local storage. Now back to Wordle, how could we improve this? Like what would we do if we had something that truly had to be secret, what should we do? Well, it's very easy. We could create a function or a serverless function, and this can run on Netlify, it can run Azure Functions, it can run in AWS Lambda. There's a lot of products out there where you can call a serverless function and you could pass it some values and it could return something like a, maybe a true false. Like, hey, this, this guess was wrong. And you pass it the word, it comes back, compares it to the real word and then it returns a true or false. That's one way that you could do it. In the state of Wordle, that's more complex. They're checking it word by word. They need to know positions and those kind of things. But in general, they could back in this with a serverless function on Netlify and not have to store the answer in local storage. Anyway, I hope this helps. Good luck and keep coding. <laughs>